Yeah, we'll be in the video like this. <laughs> Today is a special day. It is my cousin sister Ruksa, which is Aunt Sally's daughter. It is her Mendy today. She's getting married. We've got the Mendy today. We got the Mendy tomorrow. Then Saturday we got the broth. And then Sunday we have the Valima. So it's a special day, special week. As you guys know, Aunt Sally requested on the previous video that I come and I cook in the garden. So I'm here, I'm cooking two pots of chicken karai over the wood log fire, which is gonna be amazing. You guys know that this is something that I really enjoy doing. And this is the traditional, authentic Pakistani way of cooking the curries. Now, a lot of people have weddings, parties, functions at home. So this is something that I want to do. I want to start taking bookings and, you know, come to your house and cook in the garden and cook you guys a bad boy cry, bad boy mutton, whatever you want to cook. I don't mind, you know, because we have these weddings, we have these parties, we have these functions and we want to keep everything traditional. We want to keep the food traditional. We want to cook on a nice traditional way and you know we remember motherland pakistan we want to bring the flavors of pakistan to our weddings our parties so this is why i've started this side hustle off where you can get in touch with me and book me if you got a birthday party if you got any mendy functions or any party or any special occasion at home i can come to your house and cook you a bad boy curry up to 50 60 well today i've got about 70 people coming so it's two big pots i can cook up to 70 people you know it's something that i'm starting up so i would love for you guys to get in touch with me and you know make bookings and um, you know see how it goes but today this is my first time i'm doing something like this on a big scale because remember now we are bringing pakistani traditional cooking all the way to uk i'm cooking on a log fire as you guys can see you know this is something special so the family friends are going to give their experience on how they liked um the food the flavors and this whole experience in general so let's start cooking baby the fire is on now we're ready to cook this is how the fire should be running boys i've got the oil cameraman well, camera woman, Myra's helping me out. Let's put the oil in the pot. Good amount of oil in there. And then here. Good amount of oil in there. We'll add in the ginger garlic. Onion has been added. As you can see, I'm gonna fry that up nicely. Let's move on to the second dish. The fire is looking good. Both sides. This is gonna be a bad boy dish, boys. I'm telling you. I can already smell the onions. You guys can't smell them, but I'm telling you, when you're cooking on a wood fire, the cooking is on a next level. So let's get the tomatoes. Let me grab the tomatoes. Aunt Sally's busy and my other aunt is busy as well. Let's get all the tomatoes. Tomatoes added to the onions. Let's mix that in. for the second and eight. Proper back home style cooking and a fat white. It looks as well, you know. <laughs> it's now everything. It looks like a, a back home. Boys, it's gonna get steamy. Boy, 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 look at that. That is steamy. Look the food, how's that looking? Amazing. Can you smell that? Smell it. I think this is ready to take the spices. 
That's the first one. Let's go to the second one, boys. This is gonna be hot, so I'm gonna take that off. We got two digger on the block, bro. That's looking good. Spice time, baby. Let's put the salt in. This one. Salt in there. Now this is my own masala mix that I got from home. I don't want to talk too much about it. That's going in there. Then this is the second one, boys. That's going in there. This is another masala from home. Half up. This is my secret one. Um, then I've got these Lohori Charga. You know, if you know me, you know me about the Lohori Charga. They all know fruit. That's in there. Then we got some here. This is how we do it, boys. You don't mess with that. Some methy in there. Fennel Greek, basically. I'll put some messy in there. Have I missed anything? I don't think so. Let's mix this up. That's smelling good. That's mixed. Let's move on to this one. The yogurt's going in now. Let's do this. Yogurt in there. And yogurt in there. You want to mix everything in. And then we want to mix this one. Chicken time, baby. Chicken's going in. Cameraman, you got the shot? Yep. Yeah man, that's chicken in there. Let me grab the second bowl. I'm gonna add the chicken to this one as well now. Now we gotta mix everything in. That's looking good. Mix this one through. And then you gotta do this one as well. Chicken's in, everything is in. Now we're just gonna cook the chicken straight through on a high heat. Looking at this, I'm looking about two hours, you know, two hours. It could be done in an hour, hour and a half, but I wanna spend at least two hours. I'm gonna cook the chicken, make a nice juicy gravy. So it's been a good 15 minutes that I've put the chicken in and I've been keeping the chicken on the move. Let's check up on the chicken. I wanna show you how it looks so far. We have the fire. Oi, 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 look at that noise. Come on, fam. 
Okay, we'll cut that. Let's go to the second chicken boy. Looking good. So I'm gonna leave the tops off now. With the tops off, I'm gonna keep the heat high and I'm gonna dry this chicken out right to the top. Once the chicken's dry, I wanna add some water, make the gravy, then garnish it with fresh coriander, lemons, chilies, fresh double cream and then the chicken is ready. Good. We got Mr. Fruit mixing it. Then we got second pot here. Two on the bro. Can't go wrong. Boys, the ande is ready. Everything is ready. Now just gonna garnish it with fresh coriander and some nice chilies. Give that a nice garnish. Same again here. Give that a nice garnish. Give that a light mix. Not too much, because I want to keep the garnish on top. A light one like that. And then here, same again, just a light one. I want to put the top on that. And the top on that. The guests are here. We're going to leave the top on for about a good 10 minutes. Let everything infuse in. Get the flavors out. Get the garnish. Do you know the coriander? Remember that when you add the coriander, this gives a nice aroma to the curry. And it releases is you know the flavors it's gonna top everything off before i serve it i will be adding cream but that is the later stage i'm gonna leave this for about 10 minutes 15 minutes let everything just mix in settle in on a low heat food has been served um it was hectic we had about 60 70 people here so um while we were serving the food we couldn't record didn't want to put the camera on because there's a lot of women inside and we don't want to get our women on camera but otherwise everyone loved the food the chicken karai that was cooked on the fire you could tell by looking at me i'm knackered man it took me about four hours to cook that prep it cook it serve it and alhamdulillah all praises to the almighty just caught on sally she was very busy um, so she's switching on the kids but um, <laughs> so Aunt Sally is here everybody. Hello Aunt Sally. Slam black or Tiko Sare. Asitika. We had uh, chicken karaya. Very nice. Naz made both mazaya. Jumeri beti di medi and uh, both vada function si very nice. Both sona khana si. Everything is finished. Everything is and it finish, everything is finished now. Aunt Sally was big to her big business and my mom so I could oh, so we couldn't get her on camera but now we got her on camera. So you're happy with everything, Every. cooking, shooking, food. Thank you very Aunt much. Aunt Sally, it's nice. This is I'm my hala. This is how she's happy. related to me. She, this is my hala. <laughs> she's my mom's younger sister. Aunt Sally, call that we are at the uh, hall. In. The hall in it. Yeah, so we got a Mendy function yeah. at the hall. Yeah. Everyone's gonna be dressed up, looking good. Yes. We're gonna see everybody now tomorrow. Tomorrow, inshallah. 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 And then we're gonna see them on the wedding day. Yeah. And then we're gonna see them on the no, Vlima. No, okay, then yeah. see okay. you later. Bye bye. Bye. My people, my brothers, my sisters, these are all my, well, they're my fans, but they're all my niece and nephews. Yeah. Let's get everyone in the camera. Come on, everyone. Give a give no, a shout. Big shout out to
to? Medium Blocks! Medium Blocks! Big Daddy Nuts! <laughs> <laughs> so these are, my, these are all my niece and my nephews. Hi. Do you want to say something to the viewers? Uh, yes! Yeah. Subscribe! Like. Subscribe! Like. Share! Like. Make like. everybody come up! Hit the bell! Comment for the bell. Now, the bell. Like for Messi! If and you, comment for you. Neymar! And share for Mbappe! <laughs> <laughs> if you don't subscribe now, then we'll be on your bed! So, <laughs> who's the best on YouTube? Me! 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 Boys, that was the event today. It wasn't a big thing going on. It was a small thing, and boys and yeah. girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, um, yeah. I was cooking in the garden. As you guys know, I cooked two mouth watering dishes. I cooked chicken fries on the log fire. Everyone loved it. How was the food? Good. Yeah. Ten out of ten. They loved the food. They enjoyed the food, and that's the night coming to an end. Aunt Sally said the goodbyes. We're gonna see everyone tomorrow. Tomorrow we're at the we're at the hall tomorrow, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Next, KFC, to next to the KFC. So we're yeah. all gonna be there tomorrow. <laughs> and tonight's coming to an end. I had a good time. I spent good time with all my nieces, my nephews. Me. Everybody had a good time tonight, yeah? Yeah! yeah. Subscribe! All the girls the girls are inside. We don't get our girls on camera, we just keep it to the boys. And Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah ilham. Allah SWT is the greatest, Allah SWT is the master of the day of judgment. Just be true, be real, be humble, leave everything to Allah SWT, and Allah SWT will bless you with happiness. Inshallah, we will see you guys tomorrow.